Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the motor direction on your TBS Vendetta. Why would you need to do this? You would need to do this if you have different motors than the stock motors as seen here. Right here I'm running the Emax RS2205 motors. You would also need to do this if you happen to buy the aftermarket package um, from T Team Black Sheep as well. These are the F40 motors that come pre-assembled with the stock arms. Here I'm using the all carbon RC arms. Um, they're much thicker than the than the stock arms, but I picked something that is a little bit cheaper and just don't I want a different setup. But anyway, you're gonna have to change the motor direction as not all motors uh, will say talk the same as the Cobra motors. So it, I mean, you could end up changing the wiring direction on here, but it's really easy to do it from the software. So the software that we're going to be using is BL Heli Suite, which is also mentioned uh, on the Team Black Sheep's website when you purchase um, these motors or just in general on the forms. So of course you're going to need a battery pack because you're going to have to power the ESCs uh, in order to program them. You're going to want your radio system because uh, for the uh, power cube it has a buzzer on there and if you don't have your radio system turned on it's gonna know it's gonna the buzzer is gonna go off and it's really annoying make sure that you have your uh, VTX antenna mounted as you're gonna be powering the system up and most importantly remove all your propellers or your props because you don't want the motors spinning up and especially when you work on your quadcopter it can cause a lot of damage if they end up spooling up and of course you're gonna need a laptop with BL heli suite and a micro USB cable so what we do is we're going to plug in the USB cable in and then make sure when you have it plugged in that it can that you have your uh, drivers installed so you can go to device manager and check if it's installed so right here everything is installed successfully under the ports you see that the uh, I'm running Windows 7 you, I'm using the ST3032 microelectronics uh, virtual COM port and also when you put it in boot mode, DFU mode on the, uh, for if you ever decide to update the firmware, which you're going to also need to have the driver for, I use this driver called uh, uh, Zadig and it just automatically installs the right driver for it. Um, so when you power up, when you press the boot button on your power cube or you happen to power it up and you go into BL Heli Suite, you might have a missing driver. So I've already done that and it will show up here in this menu on uh, which driver to install. and then. You just, you just click the install driver. So I've already done this beforehand. Right now I'm running uh, the latest version of BL Heli Suite at the time of this recording is 16.3. All we do is launch uh, blhelisuite.exe. And now we're going to apply power to our quadcopter. So turn on your radio system first. And then we're going to power everything up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, for our ESC, select atmel slash SI interface tab. We're going to go all the way down to number six for atmel because we're running a Simon K bootloader. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And now we're going to go to connect. So we need to make sure what COM port we're on. We're on COM port five and just say connect. So now that uh, we have to press check, and then we're going to see that all their ESCs pop up. So we have ESC 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it tells you exactly what um, the, revision, the revision of the bootloader and what type of bootloader you're running. So just press OK. And then now you see this is what we need to change. You need to change motor direction. And right here are all the ESCs. So uh, we need to figure out what motors are actually not spooled up correctly or in the right direction. So go on in the motor tab right here. And then check this box says I understand the wrist and the props are moved. And then you can just power up everything from here. But going back to the quadcopter, I like to use a small piece of tape um, for the motor direction. So I don't have to keep touching the motor and you can know which direction the motors are spinning. However, these motors, the Emax motors, tell you what direction they are. So this tells you this spins uh, counterclockwise. And then the black ones spin clockwise, and they have little arrows on there. But if your if your motors that you are using doesn't tell you the direction, such as let's say these Cobra motors, or the F40 motors by by uh, T motors, uh, they don't have the direction. So it's best to use a piece of tape instead of just rubbing your fingers on and potentially getting caught. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to power all the motors up uh, very slow because you don't want to power the motors up without any load. And then we can see what motors are uh, spinning in uh, the wrong direction. So we see that these motors are spinning in the right direction, right here. They're spinning uh, uh, counterclockwise, but then these ones are also spinning counterclockwise as, uh, as well. So these need to be spinning clockwise as denoted by uh, the arrow right here. And uh, we need to figure out what ESC we are on, what motors the, the the clockwise motors should be spinning on what ESC. So you pretty much just pick what ESC and you kind of play around. So let's see, ESC1 happens to be on this corner right here, this motor right here. And then let's see, maybe ESC4 is at the top. Okay, it's at the top right here, this motor right here. And now let's go back to the ESC setup tab right here. And then we're going to connect our, reconnect everything again. Press the check button right here. And then now we're going to deselect the ESCs that we don't want to program. So let's make sure ESC1 is selected. And then press the reverse, uh, make sure it's on reverse. And then we're going to write setup. So hopefully this is correct uh, in terms of how it's mapped out. Otherwise, if it's not mapped out correctly, just keep uh, changing the directions on your uh, on your ESCs until the motor spins the right direction. So once we've selected our motor direction, just click Right Setup, and it will tell you the ESC has written successfully. Also, for some reason, if you've never used BL Heli Suite, it might tell you that it wants to update to the latest firmware, and just go ahead and do that. It'll take uh, like about five minutes to update all the ESCs, and you gotta do them individually. Um, I would recommend uh, running the latest version of, uh, of, the, of, of this. And then um, let's go to ESC number 4. Select the motor direction to be reverse. And then click right setup. And then go back to the motor tab. And see if everything has reversed successfully. So this is actually spinning uh, clockwise now. And then let's go to ESC number four. And this is spinning uh, clockwise as well. Check number uh, uh, two and then we'll check number three. And then we'll check number three, just again. It's always good to verify just in case. And uh, of course you can calibrate the ESCs. You don't really need to, but you can if you want. Um, but yeah, just check everything is, is working okay. I mean, uh, trust but verify. It's, I always like that. Um, I, I follow uh, that saying a lot, followed by that motto. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, on just changing the uh, direction of the ESCs and then just uh, disconnect everything when you're done. And of course, uh, put your props back on and enjoy flying. Oh, I should also have mentioned at the beginning is if you have your VTX powered uh, set up really high, like let's say 800 milliwatts or 500 milliwatts, you should go into your OSD and lower it down to 25 milliwatts because that will, uh, um, otherwise your VTX is going to fry without any proper cooling. So make sure to do that. Bring it down to 25 milliwatts or something not such high power level. Uh, and yeah, you'll preserve your VTEX and everything will be uh, up and running and smooth. So yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, change the motor direction on the TBS Vendetta. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day.